ladies and gentlemen, coming up next here at XKO 50, here in the Arlington backyard at Texas Live. Travis St. John taking on Yoel El Chapo Tuesday. More action in the XKO Muay Thai division. Ring card girls of XKO. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is brought to you by Hooters. It is scheduled for three rounds in the XKO Muay Thai Light Heavyweight Division. And now, introducing first, fighting out of the next big blue corner, trained in Muay Thai in kickboxing, he's making his Muay Thai professional debut. He stands six feet, two inches tall. He weighed in 203 pounds. Fighting out of Arlington, Texas. Presenting Travis St. John. And now his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the Jim Ross red corner. He is trained in the lamb striking system. He holds a professional record, two victories, one defeat, he stands six feet, one inch tall, and weighed in at 204 pounds. Fighting at a funky town, Fort Worth, Texas, Yoel El Chapo Guzman. The three, Steve Armstrong. All right, gentlemen, protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Touch gloves, good luck. All right, folks, Travis St. John will be in the pink shorts. Guzman, the black with white. Pro Muay Thai, reinforced knees and elbows are allowed. Man, I tell you what, St. John is an enormous 205 pound fighter. He has uh, less than 10% body fat. I mean, this guy is an absolute monster. But Guzman, you know, don't, I mean, we've seen him. Guzman is a tough, hard punching guy. You know, the last time we saw him was at Billy Bob's. He faced uh, Ugly Man Joe yep. in a Muay Thai fight. Um, I think that it went the way of Ugly Man Joe, his first loss in Muay Thai division. But I can tell you, man. El Chapo, man, is looking really, really good, man. He had a great fight camp at Under Lamb. Travis St. John, oh, man, he's just a, he's a freaking beast, man. I mean, he is. I mean, if, if Travis St. John Look can, at that kick. It didn't even move him. I know. I, let me tell you something. Travis St. Well, look at that. Oh, that snap kick. That question mark roundhouse kick. Brilliant by St. John. I tell you what. This guy touches you. I, I'm going to be interested to see what his hands can do with Guzman because Guzman's a tough kid. You know, I'm glad that we have the bigger cage because these guys... <laughs> these guys, oh my God, it, they deserve a big cage. They're using every bit of it. It was a great leg kick by, by, by Joel. Oh, that hurt. That kind of... You could tell him kind of wince a little bit. Yeah, that 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 was that was a big kick. And this thing about Guzman, man, he is he's such a good fighter. You know, Guz, I'll tell you right now, Guzman has faced the heavy hitters, man. Yes, Alfredo, he, Alfredo Leja. Yeah. Who can get hit by a truck. And hit by a truck. keep going. And keep going, yep. You know, Yoel... El Chapo was supposed to fight Rashad, the day Walker culture. Yep. That fight didn't happen. Now he's in here with some new blood. A guy who defies what Muay Thai is. He's just a massive, massive man. Man, and I gotta and I gotta tell you right there, um, I think Guzman got a pretty good good a pretty good shot in there. You know, I got St. John and Yeah, uh, he got he got a little got a little strawberry up, up in the top right hand of the dog in there. And that's the thing, I mean, yeah, St. John looks like an action figure, but again, it doesn't matter what you look like, it matter what you do in the ring. Oh, and look, nice Goose, Goose, look at Goose, nice. he's like, yeah, I just nailed your ass. Nice step in, Joe. Look at him, he's smiling. And he is going for those long legs but of St. John. Him. He's, you know, I'll tell you right now, Yoel is kind of reminding me of, uh, of uh, Kevin Holland. Did you hear, you hear him talking to him? Oh, yeah, him? yeah. Guzman's feeling it. He's like, all right, big guy. But St. John, my God. 
I'm, I'm, wait, I'm waiting to see what this might look like if, the, if, if, if he actually makes contact with one of those punches. And you can see he's frustrated. He's, he's getting a little frustrated. Well, I'll tell you right now, man. 205. Jesus. 205. Great flexibility uh, on St. John. Guzman is very elusive, man. Yeah. I'll tell you right now, hands down, but Guzman has great, he has great footwork. Yeah, he's oh. got St. John guessing now. He just threw the first elbow. And the he's, got, he's got St. Saint... There we go. That, he threw an elbow like a jab. Yeah. And then he followed it up with a right hook. I mean, he's, look at him. He's, he's feeling he's it too, baby. Suge is in there he's like. He's feeling it too. You know, Suge is in there like, let's go to work. Travis St. John. <laughs> Jesus, God. His first, his first fight in the pro circuit. I think that he's gonna, he's gonna go to the, he's gonna go to the corner. The coach is gonna say, look, you're a pro now. You can use elbows. You can use reinforced knees. He is so tall. Use the tie clinch. And I gotta tell you, man, not a bad first round for Travis. You know, for making his pro debut, not bad at all, man. He's trying to, it's just a feeling out process. I tell you what, you know, being a guy, you know, heavy, heavier and the same height as uh, St. John, I, I would love, you know, if, if I was still in the game, I would love to work with him because we have similar physical attributes as far as height and reach, right. things like that. And I would love an opportunity. Here we go, well, let's watch the replay. And here's Guzman pushing St. John and, you know, just running him into the cage. And right there, that St. John's that frustration. He's like, damn it, I got to hit him. Yeah. And he's throwing those, and he pushes him back. He's like, that's that frustration right there. Hey, there we are right now. We're on camera. We finally got your wish. Fight fans, we're so glad that you're here. Uh, El Chapo Guzman back in the cage. And he's giving uh, Travis a run for his money right now. Oh, man, I tell you what. Round he, number two. He, he really is. That's what we're about to find out. Round two. Yeah. But I was saying, I mean, I would love to get a hold of St. John and, and work with him just on because he definitely, the first thing I would do is I'd be like, Let, let's get that jab, be able to snap out right. like nobody's business. Right. And then I would teach him how to kick off that lead leg like a freaking beast. Well, you know, if you're Travis, man, I, I'm curious to see what happened. Okay, there he, he I like. I, I love his round kick. Okay, what's he doing? But well, he, he can't, he, he can't he, pick him up. He, well, he didn't. He ducked down. Oh, wow. God, if I tell you, if he, if he hits, if he hits, you're going to get a nice uppercut. If he hits that, you're going to fill it in Minnesota. Yeah, man, you're going you're to probably kill somebody with a, with a kick. Oh, well, he is. Oh, man. Guzman, Guz, Guzman's hair just got rearranged by the breeze of that massive hook. And look at Guzman. I'm just going to, you know what? I'm just going to pick you up. Oh, well, he sees it. that Guzman's going to shift to the left or right. He doesn't have the reach for the leg, for the arm, so he's going to use the kick to circle him back in. Oh, oh he went for the cage Superman Came punch. Up. I look at him. He, he look at his lips. He loves it. That's oh. a big body kick. And he and he tries to take him down. He didn't do it. A little dirty boxing by Yoel. Oh, Guzman out. goes for a flying knee. Oh, and he's hurt him. He's hurt him. Guzman has hurt St. John. That punch hurt. That punch hurt. Yeah, break that up. Oh, St. St. John. Uh, that. That, that mess. Oh. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh. Shit. That's what it was. He rolled his ankle. He uh, rolled his ankle. Oh, uh, that's the fight. That's what it was. You can oh, see. Oh, what a shame. It looks like he dislocated his ankle. Oh, his ankle is. Oh, he broke it. Oh, his ankle's broken. It like he broke his ankle. Damn it. Damn oh, it. That's ugly. God. Oh, shit. That's ugly. Ooh. Yeah, he definitely broke his ankle. Ooh. Oh, my God. Yeah, he definitely broke his ankle. Well, I think it had to be something that happened in that corner. You know what I mean? It had to be something that happened in the corner to his foot. And, and guys on the replay, yeah. If we could, if, if you guys could roll the replay there, and, and we see this where he slipped, because I think something transpired in the corner when you say you heard him, and then when he tried to cross the center of the cage. That's when it rolled. Yeah, it, it rolled. It ro I mean, I just just think he just snapped his ankle. And yeah. here we go. Let's let's take a real close look here. Okay. God, that was ugly, man. I hate to see that. He's gonna come across. Oh, well, he slipped. Oh shit! Now see you you see where it twisted and yeah. popped out. It popped out of. Yeah. Oh yeah, that that that's some ugly shit right there, man. Excuse my French. No. 
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Steve Armstrong is called to stop at the contest at one minute and 13 seconds into the second round, declaring a winner by TKO, Yoel El Chapo Guzman. Yoel, hey man, I got you. Yes, sir. I'm, yes, way, sir. I'm way over here in, in South Arlington, and you're way in North Arlington. Oh yeah, I can barely hear you. All right, man. Let's let's talk about the uh, the elephant in the room, man. Great job he took on Travis St. John. Uh, unfortunately, he sustained a nasty, man. nasty injury. Man, um, I'm. Uh, it's a horrible thing in this sport to see injuries, especially like that, man. You know, could have happened to any one of us. He was just throwing a kick for whatever reason, slipped. Ankle, I mean, I heard it in the cage, bro. That, that's so, so tough to even be a part of, to see even as a fan, you know, as a fighter. It's crazy, man. I, I hate that that happened. It's so unfortunate for him. I mean, you two were having fun in there, man. I mean, man. you guys were talking to each other. Y'all yeah. were pulling a Kevin Holland, just talking yeah. back and forth. Yeah, man, we, we got comfortable in there. Like I said, that dude, he's strong as hell, man. You seen those kicks, like, zooming them. There was some major speed on that and uh, major power. And he landed a couple good shots, man. I definitely felt him. We were filling each other out, man. I had a great experience. I hate that it had to end like that, y'all. Yeah, we never want to see that happen to an athlete. I know that's not the way you want to win. You, you've been in this cage enough times. You've seen both sides of the coin. You know, two now, now three wins, one loss. Uh, you got in there with Ugly Man Joe recently in yeah. Fort Worth. Before that, you were with the hard-hitting Alfredo Alfredo yeah. Leja. Yeah. And I mean, where do you see where do you see this going? You're in your professional Muay Thai career. I mean, where do you see this going from here on? Man, we got a big fight uh, next month with Rashad Coulter, uh, XKO again um, at Billy Bob's. I'm looking forward to that right now, man. What? I mean, are I, you serious? Yes, sir. We got the Day Walker himself uh, versus El Chapo and. Right now, that's my only focus, dude. I'm like, I literally, I was focused on this fight. We want to get this win. Now that's by. We, we got that done. So now it, it's all Rashad Coulter in my mind. Uh, I want to do MMA eventually, but right now it's Muay Thai, Rashad Coulter, June 20 something. So, yeah. You know, right now, man, you are just wrecking the division of light heavyweight and Muay Thai, man. I mean, right now, you are you are the man on top. You're the top of the food chain and you're about to take on Rashad Coulter. I yeah. mean, how does that feel right now man. with that in your sights? Honestly, watching the dude fight in the UFC a couple of years ago and I actually seen him freaking as a champ here, you know, a few years ago. So, to get to fight that dude, man, that's <laughs> awesome, bro. I'm, I'm stupid pumped for this, bro. I'm I'm telling you, I ain't taking no days off. Y'all about to see a way better El Chapo when it comes uh, next month. All right, well, fight fans, you heard it right there. We have something to set our sights on yeah. for next month. El Chapo, uh, not the way you wanted to win, but you got the win. Yeah, you got the attitude that's positive, man, and we yes, hold sir. blessings for the uh, for Travis, your opponent. And so uh, yes, enjoy sir. your evening, man. You know, you're, you're, you. still, you're still rising to the top, my yeah. brother. Hey, thank you, man. I told you. <laughs> Good to talk to you, man. Good talking to you, too, man. All right, brother. All right, later, brother.